In this demonstration video, I'll be walking you through an integration between HubSpot and Dynamic CRM 2013. The use case behind this is that I have a sales team who likes to work within Dynamics and a marketing team who likes to work within HubSpot. I want my marketing team to be able to create new landing sites, new web form, uh, collection locations to gather in some leads to fill the top of my funnel, and I want to sync those automatically with Dynamic CRM. This way, my sales team can always have a nice uh, flow of leads coming in that they can work, they can qualify, and, and follow through on that process. Once those leads have been qualified and they now are into the opportunity stage, so they've got opportunities created, um, they're closing opportunities, they're becoming customers, I want that data as well to come back from CRM into HubSpot so that my marketing team can have a better understanding of how effective their campaigns are um, and start to tailor them around what is going to be successful. This is going to allow both teams to be able to work in the systems that they're comfortable with uh, and yet leverage the benefits of the work that each one's doing without having to share logins and share um, access to these apps across the board. So what I'll do is I'll walk you through the, the ins and outs of this integration uh, by actually moving some data for you. Then we'll dive into Scribe Online and cover exactly how we made this work. So we'll go ahead into HubSpot and I'm going to enter in a new uh, a lead through my lead capture form. All right, so now that that form has been filled out, uh, we can go ahead and just make sure it actually did get into HubSpot. And I can see that is there. And now what's going to happen is that this feed of data between um, HubSpot and Dynamic CRM is happening behind the scenes automatically. So what I'll be able to see is that that contact will be synced with Dynamics. Now, the way this works is that I've got it set to look and see is this contact already a contact in Dynamics CRM? If it is, simply update it and make sure that there's a link between the two. If it's not a contact, it'll go down and see is it already a lead. So again, if it's already a lead, link, make a link between the two, uh, update that lead with the information I captured from the web form, and move on, and if it's neither a contact nor a lead, then I want to create a new lead out of that inside of Dynamics CRM. So I can see now that my lead has been created. And if I take a look at that lead, I can see the basic information that I captured. So I can see the, uh, my phone number, uh, my address information, who added me, uh, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and qualify this lead. So as I'm taking the role of my salesperson, I've done some work. I'm going to go ahead and qualify this guy. And now that he's been qualified, I'm going to be able to take a look inside of that contact record that was just created and see that, that individual contact. So now I've got some information about this person. Um, I know kind of what they've been doing, how they've been interacting with me. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and create an opportunity um, for Brendan. So go in and add a new opportunity. All right, and now that contact has an opportunity um, saved against it. So what this is going to do inside of HubSpot is this is going to allow me to see now that it's had a, um, a new development. The life cycle has changed. Because I've had that change within Dynamic CRM, it will get synced automatically with HubSpot. It'll have a new um, interaction, and I'll be able to see that from my marketing standpoint that my new lead who came in through my web form has now actually been qualified and is being worked against with an opportunity. So let's go ahead back into HubSpot. Refresh that, go into my record here. And I can see in my interactions on the bottom that it's become an opportunity. And I can tell from the properties in my lifecycle stage that it's an opportunity. Now within Dynamics, if I take that opportunity and I simply take it and say, you know what, this has been great, it is closed one, Brendan is going to purchase some software. So I'm going to change the state on that opportunity. Now what that actually is going to do for me is it's going to change the way that that contact um, 
is within HubSpot. So now it's gonna elevate that life cycle from an opportunity into a true customer and allow my sales reps um, to finish their work here in CRM and my marketing users to do that, that finalized um, ROI on their marketing initiatives to figure out what's being effective and what's not. The other thing while that's going that we've done here is that I've created some customizations within Dynamic CRM to show off some of the HubSpot attributes. So if I look at this contact record and I scroll down, I've actually created a HubSpot area where I can see how this lead came in. Once I've engaged them in email, I can see the different email trends, um, their social trends as well. So I've got that capability to bring in a lot of that data from HubSpot and store it in Dynamic CRM. The last thing I've done is I've actually gone through and we've added an iframe um, driven off of the profile URL that exists in HubSpot. So each contact in HubSpot has this URL and we've exposed that through our connector. So I've actually given right here the ability to capture some information and see what that um, what that contact in HubSpot has been doing. So not only do I have the data that's stored within CRM that I can build workflows and dashboards off of around that contact, but I also have an iframe which can read back into HubSpot and it will show me the same information that I have within HubSpot. So if I just do a quick refresh here, and I can see I've become a customer. So that, that full sync is happening behind the scenes. Um, my CRM users have not only the data that's been shared through the integration, but they can also get the attributes from HubSpot that can be stored there. They can use the iframe off the profile URL. They have a lot of capability right there natively, and my HubSpot users are being gained the benefit of having that link to CRM so they can see when it becomes qualified, when it's an opportunity, when it finally becomes a customer, um, and do some more calculation around what they gained from this campaign. So now that we've kind of shown you how this works, let's really show you um, how we did it. So go ahead and describe online and cover off just briefly a couple of things we've done. So I'm going to open up my HubSpot solution and we're going to see my series of maps that I have. Now what I've done is I've taken this from the baseline solution pack that Scribes provided and I've added my own customizations on top of that. So I've added the ability to sync those custom attributes um, out of HubSpot into CRM, I've added the iframe, I've added some other pieces from CRM or into HubSpot. So I'm able to, to capture all that information um, and build upon it. Basically, all it really is, is my series of maps. So I can see here my different, you know, look for a contact. If it's not a contact, is it a lead? If it's neither a contact nor a lead, I want to um, add it as a lead. If I want to build a new integration point, so let's say for this example that I want to pull some data uh, let's take it out of HubSpot, and in this case, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to pull my contacts. So we'll still work with contacts. Oop, excuse me. I'm going to grab the HubSpot connection, and I'm going to grab my contact. So there's one object in HubSpot that we're working with, but I can still use my net change to say only give me things since um, those contacts have changed. And I can say for each result, what I want to do is I want to pull in data to uh, dynamic CRM and in this case instead of working with uh, simply contacts and leads I'm going to add a sync when I want to create accounts so I can create those accounts I can then map my data so I can map company name to company name um, address information to address information so I can build that mapping within the Scribbleline UI and I can add these integration points so if I have a custom object like guests candidates um, any other objects that are your contact model, you can support that through the connectors and simply map it as you would anything else. So I can map city to city, um, very straightforward. What I can also do is say, you know what, I might not want to just create accounts every time. So I can add some more logic and say, look and see does the account already exist. If it does not, I want to create it. If it does, I want to update it. And then I can even bring some of the data back. So that newly created CRM GUID, I want to drag that back to HubSpot uh, so I have a, a closed loop integration, bring back status information. So with the tool itself, I have a lot of capability to build this very quickly, very easily um, within the Scribbleline UI, or I can leverage just that baseline integration and, and twist it and tweak it to meet my custom fields and attributes.